Hi, everybody, and welcome to the show. I'm Jack Canfield, your host, and my guest today is Chris Schaefer. He's a retired Army Green Beret and the CEO of Tactical 16 Publishing, helping veterans, first responders like police and firefighters, and their family and friends tell their stories. And his publishing company, which is called Tactical 16, is on a mission to capture the history of America's heroes. Stories of the sacrifices during chaos, the humor amid tragedy, and the victories earned from experiences not readily recreated. Real stories from real people. I asked you earlier about the name of your company. I don't think you mentioned Tactical 16. How'd you get that name? Yeah, I think it just refers to anybody that was ever in a tactical sense, uh, you know, Army, you know, police. Tactical's got a broad kind of context to it. But 16, 16 is to honor the 16 acres for everybody that was at Ground Zero because there were 16 acres that were destroyed on that. So that's where the 16 comes You're referring to 9-11? Yep, 9-11, yeah. My ground uh-huh. zero. Yeah, I was there. We did a book called Chicken Soup for the Soul of America, and it was all stories that came out of 9-11. That was an amazing place. They were still working on that, and we were able to go into the church where all the fire personnel and the people yeah. were there, and they're sleeping overnight. And it was what an amazing time in our history as a country. So it's good that you're keeping that alive in a sense and honoring that. I appreciate that. Um, and thank you for your service, by the way. I appreciate the, uh, I always say that to our fellow soldiers and sailors and so forth, because I think, you know, I, I grew up during the Vietnam era when people were spit on when they came home and, and I read every, I didn't go over there at the time. It didn't work out for me, but I read about 20 books of people who did. And it was important for me to understand what they'd been through. And there were some amazing books written, memoirs about the war. And so I'm glad you're keeping the memories of these experiences that are happening now and perhaps earlier as, alive as well. 